Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 25th of October 2021. And yeah, last week I was um, not available, so this week we have a lot of more news. And we start off with the north of Scotland and we start off with a Glen Morangie and they're bringing out a new whiskey called Tale of Winter. It's a 13 year old whiskey that has been uh, finished in Sicilian Masala wine cask, 46% ABV. And the label and the bottle look like an, yeah, a Christmas sweater that has been knitted. Yes, yeah. Um, it should be available pretty much right now. Then we have news from McAllen, like all oh, every week, the McAllen Harmony Collection Rich Cacao. It's a new series from the distillery, and this time it's a very, very yeah, ecological um, um, series, and all the, the whole box is biological. Um, yeah, degradable and recyclable, and it will be available on the 4th of November. Then we have a news right here. This here is uh, from the uh, Ghost and Rare series of Johnny Walker, and it's their fourth um, um, yeah, opening or fourth bottle of that series, and this time it's Pity Weich. So it's called Johnny Walker Blue Label Ghost and Rare Pity Weich. Pity Weich is a very short lived distillery that has been closed. It was opened in 1974 and it was only open for 18 years. And because of that, the bottles and the barrels to produce such a whiskey are very, very rare. It has 43.8% ABV and should be available worldwide. Then we have news from Bomoa and they are bringing out a whiskey that's called No Corners to Hide. And that is a play on the story of the devil that came to Bomoa and it, he tried to hide in the corners of the church, but the church in Bomoa has no corners. It's a round church. And then he uh, ran away, hid in a whiskey cask and was uh, transported with that cask to the mainland and has never been seen again. And so this is a series and it has two bottlings and it is a 23rd, a 23 year old and a 32 year old whiskey from the Beaumont distillery. Then we go to the very south of Isla and there comes the Lafroig and they're presenting the Ian Hunter edition 2021 and it is the third edition so they call it Ian Hunter book three. It looks like a book. There will be a re really yearly release of this and this time it's a 33 year old Lafroig vintage 1987 and matured in ex bourbon casks and it honors Ian Hunter as the protector of the water sewers of yeah the, the yeah one and only water for the distillery. Uh, it's around a thousand bucks maybe now it's nowadays it's a little bit more. Then we have news from Artbeck and Artbeck is driving around in their Artbeck Monster Ice Scream truck and they are serving bloody Halloween treats. From the 26th to the 31st of October, they are driving around the country and when with country, I might mean the United Kingdom and they are um, taking stops in Edinburgh, Glasgow and London. And they are serving ice cream that has been treated with Artbeck Wee Beastie, An Oa and Artbeck 10. Just out of interest, the uh, the conversion of the car took, or the truck took three months. Then we have the first whiskey of a new whiskey distillery, and it's the Clydeside Distillery. The whiskey is called Clydeside Stop Cross, and it's their first single malt with four years or nearly four years of age in American European oak casks, 46% ABV. And then we have, uh, yeah, change in personnel. The master blender of Johnny Walker and Jim Beveridge is yeah, departing. Yeah, he's an old man, but he is a very 
very, very experienced man. I had the privilege of doing an interview with him and I realized that he is really the heart and soul of Johnny Walker and Diageo and their special bottlings. He is uh, yeah, pretty much at the end of his career and he is giving the scepter now to Dr. Emma Walker and she will be continuing his legacy. She is called Walker, but she has nothing to do with the Walker family from Johnny Walker. But best of luck and uh, yeah, to her. Then we have um, Belvini and they are releasing their first bottling of their Rare Mar Marriages uh, series. We have uh, three bottlings in there. It's a 25 year old, 30 year old and the 40 year old, but the 30 and the 40 will be following and the the main focus is on the marriage of uh, the casks when you're marrying the casks together and they have a special process for that that is based on science and alchemy mm -hmm. and they're not telling what they do uh yeah then we have news from ireland and the jameson black barrel becomes a brother and that is called the jameson black barrel proof and that's a 50% ABV Jameson Black Barrel edition. Unfortunately, it is uh, only available in Ireland right now. And more news from Ireland. The Irish Whiskey Association is planning a change to the, um, yeah, the, the wording that a whiskey can be worded. And that is a bit of a problem for Conor McGregor with his proper number 12. They want to um, ban numbers on the label that could be associated with the age of the whiskey. And his whiskey is called proper number 12. And this could be associated as a 12 year old whiskey as it is not. Um, but I have to say, if it's called number 12, we all know it's a number, not an age. So hmm, I don't know. It's still in the uh, yeah, development phase, so it's not uh, yet out. So we will see if it even comes out or if Conor McGregor has to change the name of the prep proper number 12. It is now a very well established brand and it is sold pretty well around the world. United States has news about whiskey. First of all, the Booker's bourbon is uh, releasing their third uh, batch of 2021 and it's the Bardstown batch it was matured more than six years has 62.8 percent ABV and will be available at the end of October then we have a new distillery in planning it's called the horse soldier distillery and it is uh, a 200 million dollar distillery in Kentucky they're planning to build it on a 227 acres big uh, area in Somerset Pulaski County in Kentucky and uh, as the name suggests horse soldier it was founded by ex-military soldiers it will be featuring a visitor center the distillery of course an amphitheater a theater and some chapel for marrying and much much more yeah with that many space that much space you can do a lot of stuff yeah then we go over to international whiskey news and the tasmanian whiskey um producer lark is acquiring Shini estate for 40 million dollars and that's australian dollars uh, it's in Tasmania and it has 16 acres and they will build, uh, amongst other things, a small distillery, eight warehouses and a cooperage and they want to produce a million liters in that distillery. So it can't be that small of a distillery. And what they are planning to do is they're planning to yeah, accelerate their export strategy for Lark. Then we have news from Japan and the international news. The House Sunturi uh, is bringing out a limited design bottle for the Sunturi Hibiki Japanese Harmony 2021. And this time on the bottle, there will be 
flowers <laughs> as so often and also floating water bands i don't know what that is and yeah it will be limited in quantity but available all around the globe then we have another news and that is that japan wants to create a bourbon of course they're not allowed to call it bourbon but they want to do it in a very similar style to kentucky the hokkaido liberty whiskey distillery and two other whiskey distilleries want to do that and they are developing a process of, of growing the 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 corn and making the bourbon out of that and they're still looking for an official name how to bring that out but they already have a timetable they want to bring out their first bourbon in 2026 yeah and yeah that was it for this week a bit more because i was missing last week and we kind of took a little bit of a recap there thank you very much for watching and see you next time